superstar Payne Haas has rocked the Brisbane Broncos, asking for an immediate release from the club on the eve of their clash with the Gold Coast Titans. It's believed the prop wants out after contract upgrade talks broke down. You know, for, Payne, for, for the Broncos to be in this position, chasing their sixth straight win, uh, the timing couldn't have been worse. Yeah. I would let Payne Haas go right now. Right now. If you have a player inside your four walls that does not want to be there, he's thrown all the toys out of the cot, and he said, no, nah, I want immediate release. To me, it shows a real reflection on, on, on pain. Yeah. Let him go. Well, you don't well, want to play for the Broncos, yeah. don't play. Friday night footy at Suncorp. And there's Payne Haas. Oh, listen to that crowd. That's his home fans letting him know they do not like what has transpired over the last 24 hours. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's been tough. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm usually not one to get rattled, but when I heard the booze come out tonight when I was running the ball, it rattled me a bit, but uh, I had to compose myself and um, just stay in the game and do my job for the team. Now that the fans had every right to let him know how they felt, you know, it's been a bizarre 24 hours. And, but I don't think, you know, Payne won't ever forget that tonight, you know, and I, I don't know if they can, if he'll be able to move past that, you know, the fact that yeah, the Brisbane fans, um, yeah, are, are really disappointed in, in what he's done the last 24 hours and the way that he's gone about it. I'm really confident that we can sit down with Payne's management and sort something out. You know, we're not going to obviously release him, and uh, he's been a big part of our club for a few years now and will be a big part, I believe, you know, into the future. I'm playing final four, you haven't played in two years, and no one will go for a premiership soon, and, and that's all that matters, to be honest, in my career. I'm, I'm only 22, and... I don't want to sit when I'm 35 saying I've won a premiership or been close to it, so um, that's my motivation, really. And to think that Payne has is underpaid at 700, 800, 900 to be a 22-year-old kid, there wouldn't be too many guys in the country doing what they love and getting paid that much money. So I think he's well paid. Um, they've already upgraded him once, so it's starting to look a little bit selfish for Payne. Yes, it's time now for Teeing Off, brought to you by Taylor May Golf's new stealth irons, the ultimate in forgiveness and distance, so you can hit, expect better shots. More often, we get the Taylor Made stealth driver out, and it's all about Payne Haas. This was a huge story that broke late last week. Contentious one, and it hasn't stopped since. No, it hasn't stopped since. And look, I've, the disappointing thing for me is the mixed messages that have come out of this. So it came out that he asked for a release last week uh, based on the fact that. Uh, he, he feels, look, he's, he's certainly got a grievance with his former managers who did this deal that he's currently in. Now, what that is, we don't know. But one of it is he doesn't believe he's being paid well enough. So he's gone to the Broncos who have already given him one pay rise mm. within the cycle without an extension. So mm. it's a great le leap of faith for the Broncos to do that. And he's gone back now and asked for another one. But then a day later he's come out and he said, look, it's not about that. He said, I want a clause in there that if we don't finish top four because I want to be a successful club, mm. then I've got the right to leave the club. Now, that's just crazy, OK? Well, it doesn't but then happen. He's, it doesn't happen. But then he's then come out again today and done an interview with Reedy where he says it's about setting up the future for his daughter. It's not about him at all now. It's about mm. him setting up the future for his daughter. daughter. So it's back to the money. So I just... Mm. I don't... <laughs> So what is it then? Let's be honest. It's of course what's it's happening? money. Of what's course happening? Look, there's, there's some grievance there with the, the current deal. I don't mm. know what it is other than uh, the money. The, the, the management money's he's got now, they don't get a piece of the pie because the, the, the agreement or the contract was yeah. with, the, with the All Brothers. Yes, right? it was with the so, All Brothers. So now this new management has come in. Is it? Well, what's happened, Braith, is everybody's... This narrative has gone around the game that he's worth a million dollars or 1.1, 1.2, which is what he's seeking from the Broncos, OK? So they've gone back and they said, well, mate, you're on 800. Everyone's saying you're worth 1.2. So Broncos, we want 1.2. Mm. The Broncos are saying, no, no, this is not the case. This is the other side. That, that, that I was talking to uh, Cooper about this before. If he wants to get the 1.2 or the 1.1, he's not going to get that at a club that's going to finish top four because they don't let their salary oh, cap... Yeah get bent out of shape That's true. in that respect that they're, got, mm. they're overpaying a prop because he's, he's not a halfback, mm. he's a prop. Kenty, this has done untold brand image damage, whatever you want to call it, to Payne Haas. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why I was booed the other night. That army of Broncos supporters are beginning to celebrate uh, a Kerry Walters-inspired comeback and they're looking good to play finals football. Those people pay for membership, they pay for their jerseys. They pay for tickets, meals. It costs them a lot of money. You yeah. know what? 
they're average wage people. Yeah. They wouldn't earn a tenth of what Payne Huss earns. Mm. And you know what else? His behaviour in recent years, particularly incident on the Gold Coast or Tweed Heads where he abused a female police officer, was disgraceful. And the way the club looked after him, protected him and kept him in a... He could have gone then. He could have got significant time and had his contract torn up. Yeah. It's disgraceful the way he's behaving. He's been really poorly advised. There's only two forwards in the game that I can think of that earn more than a million dollars a season. David Fafita and Jason Tomalolo, who signed that long-term 10-year deal. But to your point about him being badly advised, we know that he's become very close with Sonny Bill Williams. And, look, Sonny Bill's now a decorated dual international, but there was a period in his career, and, Kenty, you wrote a book about it when he mm. first exited rugby league. That was a bad scene. That was ugly. Well, it's the same methodology, though. It, it is. It's showing and it's, how and it's, are. And it's <laughs> similar people behind the scenes. Pick a fight with the club, make, make unfair demands, and in the end, the Bulldog said, well, look, and he just went anyway because they wanted to stick it out with Sonny. Kenty. He had to pay compensation. It's the poor table manners. Who's now, if he all of it? had a Who's problem, all of it? well, his there's a manager. Theory that, there's a theory that Coda Nass is involved. James, how involved he is? If I he don't had know. a problem, Tyron Smith should have got on the phone to Ben Iken and Dave Donaghy and said, "I'm coming to mm. Brisbane. I want to sit down with you. I want to sit down with Payne." Instead, they yeah. sent a late night email. It came as a complete shock, and it was not the way you I do t- business. I the, 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 problem, the problem I've got with it, and I think the fans would have too, was. The Broncos are going so good. They're, they're flying. They've worked their butts of off. They have. They've been under pressure for a long time now. They're starting to see some light. Yeah, they win five games in a row. And then the timing of it, like the timing of it to, to, to put the, yourself a, a, ahead of the team, to just think of yourself and to be so, that selfish that you could jeopardise the season and the success of your teammates who have worked so hard all year. And even the fans who are finally having some joy. Broncos mm-hmm. fans are flying at the moment. They're on top of the world. And all of a sudden, you just go, bang, a sledgehammer, this could derail the season, all because what? you want a couple hundred thousand more. And the club's looked after you from day one. And what does it say to his teammates? That's right. But I want a clause that says, if we don't finish top four, I'm out. He's basically saying, to them, I don't know if you guys can get me there. But the other thing is, Penrith, would they pay one, 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 two for him? No. Well, they didn't pay for it. They're paying one, one for Nathan. Yeah. What's you know? Fisher Harrison? Probably high eight, seven, yeah. eight. Yeah. But Penrith aren't going to pay for it. Storm aren't. They're, de- they're definitely not going to pay for it. I wrote on the weekend, Kenny. There's None one club that has the cap space if he was to move now is the West Tigers. Yeah. But they can't give him a million. Is there any interest from the Bulldogs? Oh, there was a little bit there of a was, there, was there was a bit was of a rumor. Tyron Smith with... has had meetings with Phil Gould at Belmore. Mm. I can't say though whether it was around Payne Haas okay. or another of his players. It would, it would make sense, wouldn't it? I think I think it was sounded out. But if they're bringing in Kick-Out and if they're bringing in Reid Marnie, there is not money in that cap for Payne Haas. But he, yeah, but, but Gus, is, he's doing a bit of uh, restructuring there if, with, the, yeah. with the roster. If, yeah, they've got a lot of players. I think there's a, up to a dozen players off contract, so they will have a little bit of latitude. But again, to the point with the timing of it, not mm. only is it just worst-case scenario mm. for the Brisbane Broncos, but the Blues as well. Like mm. He's been a mainstay of that team for a long time. Yeah. He knows he's, in all likelihood, going to be picked. But that's what and they, he goes and drops the hand grenade 48 hours but before But that's the... maximum bang for your buck, Hoops. I, I don't think that's a surprise at all that that's come out at this point. Brad Fittler said two years ago when the Blues lost the series that part of... After that, he banned players from talking about contracts mm. throughout the series. And that's been a, a, basically yeah. a, a standing yeah. ban since. Here we are, a week, well, what, five days before he goes into camp, four days before he goes in, into camp, th- th- this got dropped. It's a ruthless And it's already point. become a ruthless management You point. don't I mean, it, 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 may, like it may pay Brady. off. It may pay off. He might get the dollars he wants. It's so it was just done a, some untold it, it has, but it, it I was a price. But if I'm he not gets, saying, listen, I'm, I, gets you know I'm not money, a fan of it. I'm just saying. If he gets, he said in that little clip there, He's 22 and he doesn't want to look back on his career when he's 35 and think he hasn't won a premiership or at least hasn't been in the fight. Mm. Mm. You ain't going to get it if you're going to, if yeah. you're going to rigidly pursue yeah. a $1.1, $1.2 million contract. Yeah. 